Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm doing my collective Sephora haul. Uh, just a warning, this is going to be a long video, probably. And this is a lot of stuff. So I just wanted to say, um, this is a collective haul. So I actually have a few things here <laughs> that I bought last year that I haven't used yet and I haven't showed on my channel. So, yeah, this is not like my VIB sale haul. I did not go that crazy, although I did go pretty crazy. But <laughs> anyway, this is like multiple times shopping at Sephora in one video, basically. And I have like things I bought for my birthday because my birthday is around the fall VIB sale. So naturally, I always buy things around my birthday and I also get gift cards from like my family because they know that you know I buy a lot of makeup <laughs> and I also have things I bought with Christmas gift cards and then just a few things I bought randomly and then my um, most recent spring savings event haul so I have a lot of things I have tried some of this so I do have thoughts as well, and maybe some like mini reviews if that's helpful. I don't think I'm going to get this up before the sale ends because I still have my, I have a haul video. No, not a haul video. I have a testing new makeup video going up today with things that I bought during the sale. So I think it's just going to be too much. So anyway, I kind of just wanted to do this video also for myself because there are things in here I honestly forgot I had. And if you saw my Shop My Stash video, you would have seen one of the things <laughs> that I forgot I had that I was like so shocked and surprised when I opened and it was like a really fun, unexpected surprise for me but anyway let's just get into it and also if there's anything you guys really want me to review or if you want to see a video on please let me know below because that really helps me to know what you guys want to see because I do have a really small channel as you might know so yeah it really helps to know what people want to see from me so anyway that's enough blabbing on let me get started so the first thing, this is from, I actually checked my Sephora like orders to see when I actually bought these things. And this is from August of last year, which is terrible. I think maybe I mentioned this once before. Um, and it's the Huda Beauty Wild Jaguar palette. This is still in my new makeup drawer in its box. I did, yes, I did show this before because it just happened coincidentally that this looks like the color story looks exactly like my single eyeshadow palette <laughs> which I didn't realize obviously so um, that's the packaging if you haven't seen it I mean this is not new anymore and this is the color story I think it's really fun um, I bought this with like fall in mind because I, I bought it at the end of August, but I'd never used it because <laughs> I just, I don't know, I had too many things going on. I wasn't actually wearing, like after November of last year, I like didn't wear makeup ever. So I had a bunch of things that I bought and then I put away and then they were never touched. So it's pretty bad, but that's what happened. So yeah, this is the Huda Beauty Jaguar palette. I really love these colors. The I love these like fun shades. Um, but yeah, I haven't used it, so I don't have much else to tell you about this one. But yeah, that's gonna go back in my new makeup drawer because I didn't pull it in my shop my stash, and it's not a very spring theme palette for me. So there's that one. And then the next thing I bought in August of last year <laughs> was the Rose Ink Soft Light Luminous Hydrating Concealer. So I think I bought this. I just happened to be in the store on the day that this launched in store because 
it was actually a really awkward experience <laughs> i went i i saw like they had a whole display of rose ink and like all the employees were like standing around it and i i was like can i look at this it was just really awkward but anyway someone ended up helping me because i don't think they wanted me to touch anything <laughs> and um i actually ended up trying this on in store because the sephora employee put some on a q-tip and let me apply it and i really liked it so i had to get it and also just like the name of it soft light luminous hydrating concealer just really got me and if you guys have seen my other videos you know i've mentioned i'm on like a concealer journey i'm trying to find a concealer that i actually like because i kind of hate most of my concealers <laughs> so this is the packaging it's beautiful i feel like this brand is very much my aesthetic and it's kind of like a rare beauty but more expensive <laughs> if i can say that it's kind of like that vibe. It's like, I don't know, this nice like trendy kind of soft touch packaging that I love. Yeah, so I have the shade LX040 and this is the shade that the person matched me to in store and like I said, I tried it on and it didn't look crazy, but I haven't used it since. So I don't have like a full review on this one either. It was still in its box in my new makeup drawer. But I am planning to do a full face of rose ink video pretty soon and you'll see why in a minute. But yeah, I did get this concealer but I haven't tried it yet. Okay, and then I didn't buy anything at Sephora until like November, I think. Yeah, so that's pretty good for me. Uh, and then I think this was the VIB sale. I did buy something for my mom for Christmas. It was the big Sephora like sheet mask set that comes out every year. She really likes like face mask type things so I got her that. And then for myself, I probably bought this with like gift cards. I don't know if the sale was still going on but it probably was because I usually don't buy Huda Beauty palettes unless they're on sale. But then I had gotten the Rose Quartz palette from Huda Beauty. This is this palette is kind of what sparked this whole video because I was watching It's Just Steph and she was talking about this palette and she swatched it and was like, look at these like shimmer shades, they're like as good as indie shadows. And I was like, wow, I wish I had that palette. <laughs> and then I was like, wait. And then I looked in my new makeup drawer and I had it already. This is like getting to be a problem I feel so um yeah so this is the palette still in its box of course it's beautiful I love the aesthetic of this I love Huda Beauty's palettes in this like acrylic kind of packaging for some reason they're always they always seem to be better than any of her other palettes and this is what the colors look like it's beautiful it's a very like cool tone lilac pink mauve kind of color story but you do have some shades like to deepen to give some depth and there's one of these weird shades here that people say like they hate how it looks and that it looks really like disgusting but this one looks really cool like it, you can tell as opposed to like the one in the other palette, or the Naughty palette, I don't have that one, but there was a shade like that that was all like bumpy and red and gross looking, but this one looks really cool. You can tell like it's just eyeshadow, but in chunks in like a clear base. <laughs> that doesn't sound appealing, but I don't know. It looks really cool when I look at it. Um, but yeah, I clearly haven't touched this. I forgot I even owned it, so there's that. But I'm really excited to play with this one. Yeah, it's just really fun to look at. So that's the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz palette. And at the same time I got this, that's when I picked up my Sol de Janeiro or de Janeiro 
Rio Dio deodorant. I recommended this in my um, spring savings event recommendations video because I fell in love with this. This is my new like deodorant. Um, there is a few other ones that are being sold at Sephora that I want to try after this one but if I don't like them I'm definitely coming back to this because I just love this deodorant. It's aluminum free and it I'm not allergic to it first of all. I've had like some issues with allergic reactions to deodorants so this one is not irritating at all. It smells really good and it has like good ingredients like coconut oil, mango seed butter. I actually feel like it's hydrating my underarms at the same time. So yeah, definitely recommend this one. Yeah, that's all I have to say about this. It is $21, but the other ones I want to try at Sephora are kind of in the same price range anyway. But I really like this one. Then... This must have been something I bought with a Christmas gift card or like leftover birthday gift card because in December I went on a hunt for the Patrick Ta Major Headlines blush palette. I showed this in my recommendations video again because I was just talking and I wasn't recording so I don't really, I don't remember where I was but I finally <laughs> got my hands on the Patrick Ta blush palette. Honestly, this was the last one, like, in my area. I have, like, seven Sephoras I can go to at all times, which I'm pretty lucky for. Um, and there's there was one that's, like, kind of further away, but I went to it because I just had to get this. And it was the last one in the store. So, and then it was sold out and limited edition and never came back until he released them individually which is why I mentioned this palette in my recommendations video because I love all the shades in here. I haven't tried them yet, but I have tried the Patrick Ta, um, like the singles of these and I love them. So I know the formula and I already know I like it. So yeah, I'm really excited to play with these fun shades, especially these two for spring and summer. Um, if you're wondering why there's a glare, it's because this is the these are the creams and then the powders and the creams are under a flat which i like because you don't get them all messy um and they don't dry out as quick maybe so yeah this palette so excited to play with it and like i said you can get all of these separately if any of these appeal to you um because you can't get this palette anymore unfortunately but you can get the shades still so very excited to have this. Okay, and then this is what I bought with my Christmas gift cards. I know because I bought it on December 29th. <laughs> um, so the first thing I got was the Natasha Denona Glam Face Palette. Um, the Eye and Cheek Essential, it's called. And I have the light version. This is the packaging. Brands are loving this, like mirrored packaging unfortunately your fingerprints get all over it and it looks dirty after the first time you use it but it looks really luxurious when you first take it out of the packaging so this is actually like a different packaging for natasha denona and i really like it it's very like sleek and modern i guess and this is what the palette looks like so again, it's a face and eye palette, and these are the creams under flap, which I like. So you have the highlighter, a blush, and then these are eyeshadows. And I noticed a lot of people were recommending this in their um, spring savings event videos. And at first, I feel like this was really unpopular when it came out, because everyone was like, well, like it's just neutrals. Um, and there's like a light and a deep version of this palette, but the deep version is like Honestly, not that much different. It just gives more depth obviously But it's still like pretty neutral and people were just kind of bored with it I feel but then they started using it and were like, okay No, this is actually really good because I haven't used it So I'm not speaking from personal experience just what I've seen in other videos but everyone is saying these like shimmer shadows are amazing. So I'm really excited to play with this. 
but for now it's still in my new makeup drawer just sitting there <laughs> but i have this in case anyone cares if you want me to start using this and tell you more about it just let me know but yeah that is the natasha denona glam face palette in the light version and then at the same time this you might have seen if you watched my shot my stash video because it just happened that i pulled something from this gift set so this was the rose ink the modern essentials gift set this was an amazing deal i honestly think because sephora messed up and we're selling it at the u.s price by accident but that's neither here nor there because yeah i got this for 37 dollars and it says it, it's $35 US and there actually is no Canadian sticker on it which makes me feel like they made that's how they made a mistake but um, it worked out for me <laughs> because I wanted to try more from this brand like I said I have the concealer so when I saw this I was like oh that's like a really good way to try out a lot more things because at the time rose ink hadn't even released their like complexion product yet so i picked this up it came with three full-size products which is amazing so it, it has the oh, i need to look at this this is the brow renew it's a enriched eyebrow shaping gel and the shade is called fill 01 so it's just a clear brow gel let me take this out because actually it doesn't need to be in this box anymore i just kept it because i wanted to show you guys eventually so this is the packaging nice soft touch again but not like rubbery like you can hear it's you know plastic um i haven't opened this yet Ooh, i just had to smell it <laughs> This is a brush which looks huge for a eyebrow brush so I don't know how I feel about that but yeah I'll have to try this out. I haven't really heard anyone talking about the Rose Ink Brow products so I'm excited to try this although I did get another brow gel during the sale which you'll see soon um, but this is the product you might have seen already because this got pulled into my shop my stash and that's when I realized I didn't even know I had this because when I opened it I was so surprised and happy at the shade um, so this is the lip and cheek color in the shade Azalea love the packaging and it's refillable so if you happen to go through a whole blush you would just need to buy the pan and you can put it in the same compact so it looks like this it's beautiful i have to say i have tried this two or three times already and it does not look this pigmented on the face so if you're concerned like it's gonna be too much for you it blends out very sheer but it is buildable so i really like it so far it is a cream blush if i didn't say but i guess yeah i said lip and cheek color so technically you could put it on your lips also i haven't tried that yet i probably won't because i normally don't put cream blush products on my lips but you can if you want and has a cute little mirror and it just feels really nice and good quality and then the last product is the lip sculpt amplifying lip color in the shade quartz so this is let me take it out of the packaging so that i'm not talking while it's making all kinds of noise this is the lip sculpt so it's basically a lip crayon it looks like that it already has like some i don't know what you call that like wax blooming people say but it feels fine that's the shade it looks really pretty um yeah so that's the shade quartz and i have nothing more to say because i haven't used this yet is there a sharpener on the other end no so then i didn't buy anything at sephora until the last month 
So that was a good stretch, December to March. I'm proud of myself. So, and actually when I bought this, I was like, I should just wait for the sale, but I was really worried that they would all be sold out. And I think they were, at least the shade that I wanted. So this is the Makeup by Mario Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum. And I have the shade Bronze Glow. So I did just use this in my testing new makeup video, which you would have seen before this one. So if you want to see it on my lips and you haven't watched that video yet, you can check it out. But this is the packaging and it's one of these like click up things. I'm not going to do it because I don't want to waste the product because it's one of those things that you can't roll it back down because you're meant to use up whatever you you know, got out of the tube, but I think this is like my new favorite lip product and I did, I was tempted to get more shades, but I didn't. Um, so yeah, I just really love this. It is basically the same product as the Tarte Maracuya Juicy Lips. So if you have those already, maybe get a different shade in the Makeup by Mario ones if you really want to try this, but I'm convinced it's the same thing. Um, just that the Tarte ones are like in a longer tube and a smaller applicator kind of thing, but otherwise, same product inside. It has like a really nice glossy finish and it does have like a minty tingly sensation because it is like a plumping lip gloss. Um, but I actually feel like this works so well because not only does it have like that mintiness, but the formula itself kind of fills in all the lines in your lips and just makes them look really nice and smooth. And I just love this. So I'm really happy I picked this up. I bought that, um, like I mentioned in my last video, I went on a trip to Ottawa and that's where I bought this. I usually always go to Sephora when I go to Ottawa, even though I have like seven Sephora's <laughs> around me, like I said, but it's always fun to see what other Sephora's in other like regions have, if they have different things. But honestly, they were like even less stocked up than the ones where I live. And then I didn't buy anything else until the spring savings <laughs> event. I was clearly saving up for this because this got a little crazy, I'm not gonna lie. I will tell you, I actually am returning two things and I hate returning things. It honestly gives me like anxiety <laughs> to even talk about. I think because I worked in retail for like six years and I'm traumatized by like weirdos trying to return products that they didn't even buy at the store or like buying products and using them up and then filling the product with it, something else and trying to return it. Yeah, that happened so. I'm really sad about this because I feel like it's wasteful, but I just, these products do not work for me. You will see, well, one of them you will be surprised about probably, but the first one, you will probably saw this coming if you watched my last video. Um, the Rare Beauty Positive Light Tinted Moisturizer. First of all, I know I have the wrong shade. I got the shade 10N because I wanted the light neutral but I didn't realize like how light it really was. It's basically white. I am actually wearing it right now because I tried it again for the third time today and that's when I decided I'm returning it because at first I was like, I'll exchange it for like my shade, but first of all, I have no idea. I, I cannot understand the Rare Beauty shade names. There's like, the warm ones are like actually neutral and this neutral one was like, I don't know, cool tone on me. I'm very confused by it all. There's just too many shades, too much confusion. They're all sold out anyway. So <laughs> I'm just returning this and I did try it three different ways. So in my first impressions, uh, I didn't use a primer because I was already, like I had just applied my skincare and then this is called a tinted moisturizer. So I was like, I'm just gonna go in with this. This is not moisturizing on me whatsoever. So then 
the next day I was like let me try it with my like the primers I'm using in my current rotation which is the um, Charlotte Tilbury magic cream which is extremely hydrating so I tried it with that hated it and then today I was like let me try it with the rare beauty primer because that is like one of my favorite primers I recommended it in my recommendations video so I know that I know how that primer performs and I know that I really like it and it looked even worse so I feel like on camera and because I applied like many other products on top it doesn't look too bad so let me like zoom you in because yeah like can you see this <laughs> look look at this look at this it is just sitting in like every single crevice and pore on my face like look here um so yeah i like I said, I was thinking I'll just get a different shade, but I don't think this formula is working for me anyway. So why get another shade and already go into it knowing I don't really like it. So yeah, I just gave up on this one, unfortunately. I know people are raving about this right now and even people with dry skin are loving this, but unfortunately it didn't work for me. And I much prefer my um, Fenty, the Fenty Ease Drop. This is pretty much like the same kind of product, but this one is more like blurring and smooth on my skin. So why keep both when I know I don't like this one as much as this, you know what I mean? I just don't have room in my collection anymore, like literally and figuratively for products that don't work for me. So unfortunately I'm returning that one. And then the other product I'm returning is the Huda Beauty Cheeky Tint Blush Stick. So you might be surprised by this because I did like it. And I do like the formula in the way that it blended out and that it gave like a really nice glowy effect. And it wasn't like too tacky or anything. But this shade is Perky Peach. So I got the lightest shade, but not intentionally. It's just that I thought... The other shades were already too similar to things I have in my collection. So I got this one, but it looked like this. And it's one of these like stick products, which I like. And I did use it both ways. I applied it um, directly on my face. I applied it on a brush and then blended it out and everything worked. The only thing is the shade, like literally is my skin tone. <laughs> when blended out so i guess that means i have a peach undertone which is something i just learned but yeah and so when i watched back that video when i was editing it i'm like you couldn't see this on my face at all and i just feel like why why have a product first of all these are 33 dollars so they're really not that cheap either and it literally literally did nothing for me I did, I'm wearing it again today, and you might be like, well, that looks good. Well, it's because I put my other blush from my Pure palette that's in my deck of panning. I put that on top, and I really like that. So, yeah, this just didn't do anything for me other than, like, make me look glossy in the area that I put it. So, I'm not going to keep this. I just can't justify it. Um... Yeah, so I'm returning those two products, but everything else, well, I haven't tried yet, <laughs> so, uh, well, I have tried one thing, the Natasha Denona Pastel Palette. I really like this. I didn't, like, I didn't love the look that I did, but not because of, like, the formulas or the shades, just. I don't know, I was just playing around and just wanted to, you know, get a feel for the different textures and stuff. Um, but I know I'm really going to like this going forward and playing it with it and playing with it more. So that's the color story in case you haven't seen it. Everyone's mentioning it already, but 
there it is a really nice spring palette and I had I did use five shades so it's getting really like blown out on camera but I used these two the shade illusion which looks white but it has a pink shift and the shade feather on the lower lash line which came off like really pink on me and kind of wasn't that flattering um around my red eyes <laughs> but I really liked how it performed so yeah I'm happy with this I'm happy with this purchase this was like the one thing I was like if I buy anything during the sale it's gonna be this so I'm happy to have this and happy that I got it on sale because Natasha Denona is not <laughs> cheap um, and then the other product I tried in that video was the Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker Face and Eye Bronzer Highlighter Palette. I feel like I'm the only person that loves this. <laughs> Everyone else I saw that um, purchased this during the sale and tried it was like, eh, it's alright. But I actually loved it if you saw that video. So it's, like it said, a eye and face palette. So you can just use these however you want, like as bronzer, as eyeshadow. I have to say I didn't use them as eyeshadow yet and maybe because it's a bronzer formula, which I think people like didn't realize, this is the existing formula of the Sunstalker bronzer. So it's not meant to be an eyeshadow, it's just that they marketed it in that way because obviously no one person can use all five of these as bronzers, right? So if they say it's an eye palette and a bronzer palette, then you're like, oh, so I'll put them on my eyes. You could do that like whenever you want. And I actually do that already. Like with my bronzers, sometimes I just throw it in the crease as well. Like if I'm in a rush or just doing a natural look. So I do like that, but I don't think these are like the formula of these are not meant to be eyeshadows so I don't know how well they're going to perform as eyeshadow but as bronzer I love them um clearly these two shades will, will not be bronzers for me but I am excited to try them for an eye look and then I also use the highlighter which is the highlighter formula it's not an eyeshadow formula it's the highlighter formula and I loved it um, I love the undertone on my skin tone. So yeah, I'm really happy about this. And yeah, I'll keep you posted in case like it really doesn't work on the eyes and then I guess it's not really worth it because like I said, I'm not gonna use these two shades on my skin tone for bronzer, but I'll let you know. But so far, I'm really happy with this purchase. Okay, so here's the product that made me think I want to do a rose ink like focus video. I picked up the rose ink skin enhance luminous tinted serum. So I am really hoping I like this better than the tinted moisturizer from Rare Beauty. But this is really interesting. It looks like this. So it's one of those formulas that the pigment is in like little balls but as you like blend it in they break up and you know blend into your skin um i have seen nothing but good reviews on this to be honest like from all skin types so i'm excited to use this um it says pump onto back of hand mix with foundation brush to activate micro encapsulated pigment spheres blend gently onto face so i'm really excited to play with this it has a nice pump I hope this is a good shade for me. It's the shade 40. So I actually had the same shade in the concealer, if that means anything, probably not, because usually concealers are, like the shades are on the lighter side than they are for the face. So we'll see how that goes. But I did use the shade finder on the Sephora app to get this one because I believe because I have the LYS foundation in LN6 it suggested this one for me so I hope it's good I heard, I saw people saying like that shade finders totally broken and wrong so now I'm a 
bit worried but it looks okay right i at least looks darker than the tinted moisturizer did so i have high hopes for this so i'm gonna film that video soon and then i got a sephora collection brush because the sephora collection was 30 percent off this is the number 47 brush and i mentioned this in my um recommendations video when i told you guys what i bought already i mentioned this because of julia adams because she uses a brush from Quo that's apparently a dupe for this one for her cream blush and it just looks really nice whenever she used it so i had to pick this one up because i only have one other brush really that i use for cream blush and it's an elf like duo fiber kind of brush so i really want to try this one so it looks like this it's like very flat as you can see but it has like a slant here so like just imagine how easy that would apply your cream blush so i'm excited to use this i haven't used it yet clearly all the other sephora brushes that i have i really like them but i would say like in case i don't get this up before the end of the sale just wait because I feel like the Sephora collection, they're always doing 30% off lately. It's like every couple months, it's on sale for 30% off. So don't buy anything Sephora collection at full price, is what I say. Oh, so I did tell you guys I got a facial razor. And I was very, like, scared about it. I haven't used it yet because I wanted to show you in this video how it came like new. So it actually came in like this really nice, you know, it, um, case for it. And it came with three blade refills. Yeah, because I think once I open this, like it's going to take off everything. So what does it say? Um, this facial razor gently removes hair and peach fuzz for a visibly smoother looking complexion. 1.25 inch blade includes three replacement blades and a travel case. So I'm excited to use this. I mentioned in that video I want to use it um, to shave my hairs here because this area is like super sensitive on me and it's very textured in general so i'm hoping like if i get the hairs away it will look better we'll see about that and then i might use it also like down here um where my peach fuzz is because maybe it'll make my you know base products look smoother i don't know i pretty much bought this because of makeup by cheryl she said like the metal this is a metal facial razor if i didn't say but the metal one is a lot better than the plastic ones because it has like a nice weight to it which makes it easier to use on the face so she sold me on this one plus Sephora collection was 30% off so I picked that up and then I picked up another really exciting product the Patrick Ta Major Dimension eyeshadow palette sorry Major Dimension 2 eyeshadow palette so I know everyone's already done their videos on this palette but I want to do mine um, because I just want to try it for myself so this is the packaging again very reflective it's gonna get filthy um, any second now but but so the packaging is a bit different from the original it has like this border around it in like a rose gold so I thought that was a nice touch because you can distinguish them together you know when you if you stack them if you stack the two palettes together if you have both of them like i do that's gonna help me know which is which because otherwise it looks exactly the same except it says major dimension two instead of just major dimension but this is the palette it's beautiful so this is a very like pink tone rosy tone leaning mauve kind of color story um and normally i if this was like any other brand and i didn't know about the formula and I, or or like the name i would have been like i don't need that 
but because it's Patrick Ta, I just had to get it. So if you're not familiar with his palettes, there's two cream shades under a little flap again. Um, and then I think, yeah, this format is a bit different from the original because all of these shades here are matte. And then all of these are like shimmer or like glittery topper kind of shades. I like the setup of this one more just because looking at this, I know like, oh, if I want to do a quick look, like each of each row is like a really quick look of two shadows. And you can use the creams like as a base to make them more like smoky or intense, I guess you would say. But yeah, I'm really excited to play with this. I'm probably going to do a video on it just for fun, to be honest. But if you want to know like actual an actual review on this, plenty of people already put theirs up so you can check them out. But yeah, I'm really excited about this. And I'm really glad it came out during the sale because these palettes are... This actually a dollar more than the Natasha Denona ones. So they're an investment, but yeah, I, I already know like I love the Patrick Ta formula and pretty much anything. So I have high hopes for this one also. Oh, and then another like non makeup item, which I'm excited to show you so I can finally open this and use it. It's the King Satin Pillowcase from Kitsch Beauty. I got the leopard print one because it just looked really cute. And it's like a nice neutral, like not loud leopard print. So yeah, I'm really excited about this. It says that it elevates your beauty rest with the luxurious feel of satin, helps to tame frizz and reduce breakage while sleeping, aids skin in retaining moisture, Helps to prevent acne, helps to prevent facial creases from sleeping. Gentle on eyelashes and eyebrows and gentle on all skin types and hair. So let's open this. I don't know if I should have bought the king size one. Let's see how big this is. Oh dear. <laughs> okay, I might have made a mistake on this one. But yeah, there's a zipper on this side. So actually, I don't know. My pillows are pretty long. So I'm hoping it'll fit in here and that this will be good because I didn't realize only after I bought this that there's like a regular size. And for some reason I bought the king size one. I don't know what I was thinking. So I'm really hoping this works out for me. I know like people say, people have been raving about silk pillowcases, but that's just too expensive <laughs> for me. This was $30 with, you know, and plus I got 20% off. So that's how I justified getting a pillowcase from Sephora. But yeah, we'll see how it works. I'll keep you posted on this one too. Okay, this is getting long, long video. So that was my first order. <laughs> and then, which you would have seen in my last video, I went into store because there were a few things I wanted to pick up that were out of stock online. So I went into store hoping to find them and I didn't. So naturally I just bought other things that I didn't plan on buying. So the first thing was the Kosas Brow Team Trio. I've just seen like so many good reviews on the Kosas brow products and this just seemed like a really good deal. So it was $49 but it, it's a value of $84 Canadian and it's full size products and you get the Brow Pop Dual Action Defining Pencil, the Air Brow Tinted Volumizing Treatment Gel, and the Air Brow Clear Lifting Treatment Gel with Lamination Effect. So I have, I used all three of them together, which is how you're meant to use it, and I really liked it. The shade was a bit different for me, but I think it's just because I wasn't used to it, like because of the products I'm using now, the Essence Make Me Brow, and today I'm wearing a 
MAC brow pencil, which is actually like pretty dark brown. This is truly, well, I didn't even say the shade. <laughs> the shade I got is medium brown. It's described as a neutral medium brown. So that's why I picked this one up because I don't like any warm tones in my brows because they will just look red because I have like a bit of red in my hair to begin with but I don't like how that looks on my face so yeah but I got this and yeah so far I really like it everything was easy to use and I love the brush on the gel products it just has like longer sides and then like regular sides um, which I love because the long bristles help to really lift my brows which I need because I have a lot of brow hairs but they're not um like they're sparse but they're very long hairs so I need to comb them to be able to fill them in kind of thing so I don't know I really liked it but I have to keep testing it to see if this is really like the best color for me and while I was at the store I, of course, had to get another lip product. Where is it? Oh, here it is. The Patrick Ta Plumping Gloss in the shade Full Syringe. I haven't used this yet, but I'm really excited about it. So it looks like this. It looks like extremely bright red, but from what I've seen from other people's videos, it's very sheer, so it's not going to go on a red shade. But I did want to get this shade because the other ones pretty much just looked like they would just look clear on my lips. And I feel like at least this one will give a tint of color. But um, I love the smell of this. It's like cinnamon, fruity. I don't know. Oh, did I get some on my nose? I think I did. Um, and I love the shape of the wand. I saw. I mentioned that in my other video. And I called this a brush, so just to clarify, it's not a brush, it's a doe foot. It's just a fun shape that you don't see usually. It's like a very long slanted shape. So I'm not going to put this on because I actually have a plumping gloss on already from Buxom and I don't want to, you know, make my lips go crazy. But I'm probably going to try this in um, a video soon. This is where things just started getting crazy and I don't even know what I was thinking. <laughs> well, this is the story. So I I had to go to the garage, well, I had to go to my dealership for my car because I was getting a like spring revamp, I don't know what they called it, some kind of like promo where they were going to like change my tires and all that stuff. I don't know anything about cars, but it was a really good deal. So I, I jumped on it and it just happened to be close to another Sephora that I like to go to. So after I picked up my car, I, sh I stopped at that Sephora because I was like, maybe they have some of the things in stock that I wanted to get online. They had one thing, but I bought three things. So let me just show you. Well, the first one, I was really happy. I was like, yes, I was meant to come here because I've been trying to buy this stupid thing for months, the Freck Beauty Best of Freck Duo. So this is the Freck Beauty Cheek Slime in a full size and the Freck OG in the regular size. If you don't know what Freck is, it's basically like they got famous for making a faux freckle pen um, but now they have other products so I was really intrigued by this I already have freckles but I feel like once they wear makeup like you can't really see them anymore so I thought this would be kind of fun and I I love the look of like a bright blush with freckles like for summer so I saw this in the store and I was like, let me get it because I've been trying to buy this like even when it was full price, I was going to buy it because it's $33 for both, which is not bad because it's a actually $58 value. Like this little pen is not cheap and it's tiny. I think this is the, the regular size of it though. 
I could be wrong, but I, I do know the regular size is really tiny and now they have like an extra large version, but look at this. <laughs> so that's the Freck pin. So it's just like, like it says, it's a like a little pin that you, you know, make freckles with and then you pat it out and they look really nice and natural. I've seen tons of people use this in videos, which is why I'm saying it, it looks natural even though I haven't tried it yet. I just know that I'm going to like this already and I really wanted to try this too. This is their like cream blush but they call it a cheek slime and this is the shade Fever Dream. So I did swatch this on my hand already and it looks like I'm really going to like it. So it's just like a little squeezy tube and I honestly put like a dot and it was so pigmented so I'm a little worried when I actually apply this to my skin but it's like a jelly kind of texture but look at this shade it's red so I'm so excited about this I've been wanting to try some red blushes but look it blends out like really smooth right but it's still that is very pigmented and then it dries down like it's not even sticky or anything so I'm really excited about this I don't know how it's gonna play with like other base products obviously because I've only ever did a hand swatch but that's so cute and imagine this with like freckles oh yeah it's gonna look like I don't know, a little doll or something. So I'm excited to play with this. I'm probably just gonna play with this like for a fun, like testing video. Cause I don't know, <laughs> like, I don't know if I'm gonna like the look, but what I have in my head feels like it's gonna be cute, but we'll have to see. So I probably won't use this like, and then, you know, somewhere where I have to go out to like an event but if I like it I don't know we'll just have to see but I'm really happy about this blush shade did I say it was the shade fever dream yeah so I did get this because it kept going in and out of stock like since it came out and they had three left in the store so I picked this up naturally. So while I was in the store, I made the mistake of going to the Charlotte Tilbury section and swatching the new Pillow Talk highlighter, which I did not need, but I could not resist. So I got the Pillow Talk Multi Glow Beautifying All Over Glow highlighter. This is the outer packaging. And I got the shade Romance Light obviously because there's like a light shade and a deep shade and this is the one that will work for me but wait till you see this packaging Ta look at this that is so beautiful I think this is like the nicest packaging of any product in my collection I can't think of anything else off the top of my head it's just so pretty it looks like marble but it's just, you know, plastic, obviously. But this is the product inside. It's so beautiful. If you can see, see how it's like quilted? I don't know, I just loved it. And honestly, seeing this online, I was like, I'm not getting that. That looks stupid. <laughs> but I just watched this in store and it was so pretty. I will, you know, risk messing this beautiful pen to give you guys a swatch, but I just need you to see how pretty it is. So I'm just going to get all four of the shades so you can really see. And really like the feeling of this is what got me also. It feels so smooth. This feels smoother than like any other highlighter in my collection. So that's what it looks like all swirled together. And then look at this. See, it's just so pretty. 
it does have obviously like a pinkness to it but not in like you know those pink shifting highlighters that are really like holographic pink this is not that this is like beautiful natural pink undertone and there is like very fine shimmers in it which actually are just coming from one of the strips because I don't know if you can see on camera see how this this strip has like shimmers in it yeah you can kind of see that so it gives such a really pretty effect in not like a chunky glittery way but like a natural like those flecks just pick up the light kind of way and it's just so beautiful so i'm hoping it looks like that on my face of course um and then it works on my dry skin type but i'm really excited about this and i just cannot resist it honestly i shouldn't have even went near it and touched it because i was not gonna buy this otherwise but i had to get it like look at this but listen charlotte if this starts peeling off like my stupid hollywood flawless filter packaging i will not be happy okay <laughs> you guys know i like went off i went off about this product in my some video i can't remember now i went on a rant about this but yeah so this better stay looking like this or I'll, i will be very upset but i'm very happy that i have this and it, I just like looking at it to be honest like if I had a nice makeup vanity which I don't because I don't have room for that <laughs> right now I would just leave this out like on the counter to look at anyway that's my story about that okay and then you guys know how it goes then you go to the Isle of Doom and you're looking around because you're waiting in line and I honestly feel like they do that on purpose <laughs> but um that's when I saw this and this is another Sol de Janeiro or de Janeiro I don't know if you don't pronounce the J or not but um this is the Brazilian Crush Cheirosa 40 hair and body fragrance mist I had no intention of buying this but I was just like, you know, waiting my turn and this was right there and I just happened to read it and that's when I saw Black Amber Plum and Vanilla Woods. You guys, had I known this was Vanilla Woods, I would have bought this a long time ago because you might know if you watch my recommendations video, one of my favorite perfumes is Vanilla Woods from The Seven Virtues. And I was like, wait a second, Vanilla Woods? Like, for some reason, I never paid attention to these Sol de Janeiro, like, sprays because I thought they would all be, like, the same kind of thing, like, caramel, super sweet kind of things. But I had to try this. So I, I went back in the store from, I left the line because they didn't have a tester in the Isle of Doom. And I went to try this on. I was like, I have to see what this is. And when I first sprayed it, it was like, oh no. It smelled like alcohol. But then on the dry down, it smelled exactly like Vanilla Woods from Seven Virtues. So naturally I had to get this because I don't wear perfume every day, like real perfume, like in a roller or a spray. Um, but I do wear body spray all the time like even if I'm not going anywhere. So the one I have right now is Bath & Body Works Frosted Coconut Snowball. So I have to put that one away for until next winter and I'm gonna replace it with this. I'm so happy to have this. So let me read the fragrance notes. So the top note is Black Amber Plum Creme de Cassie and then the mid is jasmine blooms and brazilian orchid and the dry is vanilla woods and warm musk i just love it so much 
So this is, um, this product is $26 for how much? For three ounces. And then let me check the seven virtues because this might be, like if you don't want to invest in a perfume and you like the sound of Vanilla Woods, like just get this because this is for hair and body. So it's not like too much. Okay, so the, the travel size of the Vanilla Woods from the Seven Virtues, the rollerball that I have, is 37. And you only get 0.33 ounces. And this, you get 3 ounces for $26 Canadian. So honestly, just get this. Maybe if you're more of a body spray kind of person, get this. Um, well, but also if you like perfume, get this one too, because <laughs> it's really good. But um, I, I will say this actually lasted forever on me also. Like I sprayed it one time in the store to smell it, and it was on me like all night in, into the next morning, to be honest. So. I'm so happy I decided to read what this said because I just assumed this was like some kind of floral sweet water thing but no, it's amazing and I love it. So that's my like favorite, you know, unexpected find of, of this sale. And then just one more thing, <laughs> I went to another Sephora because I had to go into town well, I didn't have to go. I chose to go because I wanted to go to the the huge like downtown Sephora, which used to be my local Sephora, and I haven't been there in a long time because I don't live at my condo anymore, and I was missing it because this Sephora, first of all, it's like the size of a department store, and it has a section of like every brand, like Givenchy, Pat McGrath, Gucci, like anything you can think of, they have it in that store. Except for LYS, which apparently they don't have in Canadian Sephora's anymore. What's going on? That's like the best brand of 2020, 2020 or 2021. I don't know, but I love it. And apparently they don't have it anymore because I was looking for the concealer and I asked the girl, where's the LYS? She was like, oh, we used to have it in store, but not anymore. I was like, what? Why? <laughs> so yeah, I didn't get the the LYS concealer. But what I did get is the Givenchy Rose Perfecto Liquid Balm. <sighs> this one, you guys. I'm not even going to tell you how much this was because I honestly will throw up. <laughs> but I had to get it. It's just so beautiful. Look at this. Okay, I know this looks like, who was it? I think it was Emily Noel who said like, this is what the lip smacker, the lip shaker used to look like. And I was like, oh my God, it's true. But aside from the hat, this is like the most luxurious lip product I've ever had in my presence. <laughs> because it's actually a glass bottle and th this is like a faux leather cap. I'm assuming it's faux, right? I don't know. It's If it's Givenchy, it might be real. Let's hope not. <laughs> okay, I don't know what it's made out of, but it, it's most likely faux leather. Um, it's just really beautiful. I love how it looks. It feels like, I think the thing I'm really happy about is that the price and how do I explain this is that it's a luxury price tag but you understand why when you touch it you know what I mean like take note Charlotte Tilbury <laughs> that's that's how I mean like if I spend more than I would normally on a product it should feel expensive is what I'm trying to say and this does so anyway rant aside I got the shade 210, which is pink nude. So it looks like this. I have not tried it yet. 
I will swatch some for you. So these are liquid bombs, so they're obviously not going to be super pigmented, but that is actually quite a lot of color for a shade called Pink Nude. So I'm really happy about this. When I got to the Sephora, these were like the shelf was empty, but I saw on the app that they had it in store, so I asked someone and she had to like open the drawer for me to get it. So yeah, they had it. It was just, I guess people are buying them so quickly that they can't even keep the shelf stocked. So I'm so happy I got to get this because it's sold out online. But check your Sephora app, see your local stores. They probably have them in store, just not online. And yeah, I'm really excited to play with that. The only thing I was like thinking, because it's like a marble, you know, effect in the tube, won't that, like over time, if you keep using it, won't it just become one shade? <laughs> I don't know. So the marbling effect might fade, but the packaging itself still feels amazing. So I'm hoping the product itself is really good. It does have like a luxury makeup scent. It's like, I don't know, rose. Rose and like vanilla, but like perfume. So <laughs> I hope I don't taste anything weird, but yeah, that's another thing I had to get. And then the last thing, this always happens to me, every VIB sale, I feel, Too Faced launches a new palette. And if you didn't know, I actually really like the Too Faced eyeshadow formula. I know some people like really don't like it, but I feel like it's very easy to use and it's very pigmented, but not too much that like you can't blend it. And they're, obviously their color stories are more basic and once you have like a few Too Faced palettes, you have them all. But for some reason, this one just got me. It's the new Too Faced Born This Way Sunset Stripped. So I wanna use this in a video also. I actually never got the um, natural nudes version of this palette um, because it looked too much like the Maybelline Nudes of New York palette, which I have, and I was like, I don't need like the dupe version and the higher end version. So I never picked that one up, although everyone says like how good it is and it was in people's like 2021 favorites videos. But when I saw this one, I was like, that's more something I want in my collection. So this is the packaging, it's really cute, and this is what it looks like inside. So did I need this? No. Does it look like the Patrick Ta palette? Pretty much, but I don't know. It just really called to me, and it happened to have arrived in the store like the day I was there and they had to go get it for me from the back and you know when you know when you ask Sephora like if they have something and then they just go in the back and get it and assume you're buying it and then you're like you know <laughs> what do I do so that kind of happened also but yeah I'm happy about it and um this smells like sunscreen and like the beach and I don't know if it's meant to I think so because it's called sunset stripped um, but it doesn't say anywhere like if there's a fragrance or you know usually Too Faced palettes say like smells like chocolate or but this does not say unless I miss something but um, it says on the back inspired by the warm sultry sexy sun-kissed skin of beach babes frolicking in the surf and sand of Malibu. <laughs> These 16 rich, creamy, highly pigmented modern nudes range from flattering to sultry matte, metallic shimmer and sparkle shades for it looks so naturally alluring, they'll think you were born in LA. So yeah, I don't know about that, but it does look really pretty. 
And yeah, like I said, I do like the Too Faced formula. I really liked the Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear It All palette. I have a video on that if you want to see it. But yeah, I just had to get this. It, it got me. It really got me with this one. And that's it. That's finally it. <laughs> so just to like be transparent and hold myself accountable, I do have two more things in my Sephora cart that I haven't decided on. Um, because when I'm filming this, it's the 10th and the sale ends tomorrow at midnight. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm probably not going to get them. Probably, yeah. I don't think I am. But just so you guys know, I was considering getting the new Melt Cosmetics Gemini palette. Well, the palette, like the color story is not new because it's the Gemini 1, which already existed. But they just relaunched like redid the packaging because they now have a Gemini 2 but I want the one because I never had it before and it looks like super nice and grungy greens I'll just show it to you it looks beautiful and I don't buy melt normally because it's very expensive and there's so many mixed reviews about melt that I never like wanting to pick them up full price just in case um and then i also have the melt monarcha blush palette in my cart look at this it's beautiful i don't need any more blushes though i don't need any more palettes that's for sure but if i do buy anything else it would have been this but i don't think i will but yeah that's it I mean, there's there were other things that I still want that never came back in stock. I hope they don't because I don't even want to be tempted by them. <laughs> but yeah, that was my huge haul. And now I feel better about it. I don't feel like such a hoarder and I can like recycle the packaging and put this away neatly in my collection wherever it will fit, hopefully. But yeah, so if you guys saw anything in this video that you want to hear more about, like I said in the intro, just let me know below. I can do like a focused video on something. I already have, like I said, my testing new makeup video, which you would have seen before this one. So watch that also if you happen to see this one first. But yeah, that's it. So I hope you like this video. I hope it was helpful. I don't know. I at least hope you were entertained by my excessive spending. And yeah, so subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!